everyone and welcome back to our channel table for seven you guys we're gonna get on with it we're gonna do a super quick grocery haul um, if you follow my vlogging channel which is the only channel that I have um, then you know that we have been really scarce uh, right recently and lately with groceries and so we really needed to stock up our fridge and our pantry and this is just a little something the kids are off of school for um, Christmas break next week so I'm sure I'll make another trip next week, but um, for now to get us uh, through dinner and snacks for the rest of the like four things the kids have like three more days of school, that mama needed coffee. So we got coffee. Um, without further ado, you guys, we're just gonna get rolling with this grocery haul. I just unpacked everything and set everything out on the counter. Um, so this is what I got. I'm gonna show you what okay, we got in so the grocery haul. to start haul. out, we got two cases of water. Our refrigerator um, does not work. We cannot get water, I don't know why, but we have turned to water bottles and so I picked up two of these. Um, as far as our fruit, we got a couple of bundles of bananas. I got some limes. Um, we got plenty of meat for dinners and so a squeeze of lime is really good on you know cooked meat. So we got some limes. I um, wanted some grapefruits. These were only like two bucks for the whole bag to something. So we got some grapefruits. The kids always love apples. So we got these really small um, apples. And then um, I can't make a trip, a grocery trip to HEB without picking up some flour tortillas. And so I picked up two packages. Um, and then for produce, I think this was pretty much all I got, uh, were these sweet tomatoes. Um, Sophia really loves to snack on these, and so we picked up some of these. Okay, and then I got this big bag of fries. Um, these are really good for the kids. I'm not a big fry person, but we have our toaster oven. Sophia and Evan can definitely snack on these for lunch. Not snack on them, but you know, these, and I got some chicken, but, um, I got a really big bag. This bag was $5, but um, it's it's kind of a big bag and it is five pounds, so it's not too bad. So I also got this big bag of chicken nuggets. Um, this chicken is really, really good, the Tyson chicken, and so the kids, when they get home from school, they can they can stick it in the, um, the toaster oven, and Sophie and Evan can have these for lunch as well. And then I recently bought a like $2 pack um, of hash browns, and my older kids really, really loved them, and so did Evan and Sophia. I just kind of throw some oil on the skillet or on the um, my pan and fry these up or co cook them up a little bit and have them toasted. The kids really, really like these, so I got this. I think this was $3, so not bad at all, I don't think, for two pounds, and that's, that's plenty. So for breakfast and then for breakfast right before school. Breakfast on the weekends, breakfast before school. Okay, and then I have also recently been purchasing these hash browns. These are the southern style. Okay, we are, somos hispanos nosotros. So potato and eggs are great for breakfast options. Um, even dinner, you guys, I'm not even joking. We can have potato and egg tacos for dinner. And instead of having to peel and cut potatoes, I just pick up these hash browns. This was my mom's idea, thank you mom. And so you kind of just throw these on your stove and then throw in some scrambled eggs, bam, you've got potato and eggs, you guys. So I picked up some hash browns. And then for veggies, these are gonna be a great side for any meat that I cook. This will be um, the Normandy, right? Is this the Normandy? Yeah, this is the H-E-B Normandy. And it's got, of course, obviously, broccoli, cauliflower, and carrots. And I got the big old bag. And this was, I think, a little over $5. I got the same big bag of frozen green beans. And then ginormous bag also of frozen corn. Okay, and for me, I got the five pounds. Is this five pounds? Yep, five pound, um, 80, 20, ground beef and then I got some really really good deals I think HEB has great meats and if you look for a good pr I mean if you look through all the meats you can find really really good prices so these pork ribs you guys were only four dollars and thirty cents so I will probably end up cooking two of them for dinner for my family and so I got this one as well and this one is five dollars and nineteen cents and then I got this big old thing. Um, this is also some pork, but look at that 
cut of meat, you guys. I, I just think it looks really, really great. This will definitely feed my whole family and then definitely have um, maybe another serving, a leftover serving for Reuben for lunch for the next day. And this was only $10.52. So this, with some of our veggies, we've got dinner. Um, and again, I, I don't go for a particular meat when I go grocery shopping, I go for the prices. And so if it's a big packet of meat for a decent price, then I'm gonna get it. So this is pork loin chops and it was only $6.10. Definitely feed our family maybe one um, pork chop leftover, maybe. And then I just got some chicken. I was gonna get the bag of chicken, but I figured I would spend a little extra and get two packets of chicken. This can definitely be one dinner. I don't think this is enough dinner for us, um, so I'll have to maybe use this, I don't know, for after school for the kids or something. Uh, maybe make this for the kids. Maybe one evening Ruben and I can go out and get a burger or something like and a beer but uh this one was four dollars and 71 cents for some chicken drumsticks and then some thighs five dollars and three cents so not bad you guys this is definitely again we could have for dinner maybe one piece left over reuben can take for lunch the next day we seem to always be running out of butter so i got this big country crock original butter we have a few potatoes uh, like raw potatoes and so I figured I could add this to some of the cooked potatoes and have some um, mashed potatoes and this really helps it stretch so got that I also got this 16 bean soup mix I just thought it looked good I've had it before um, I've never made it but I've had it and I I don't know it's kind of cool outside in San Antonio so I'm in the mood for this and this you guys this this whole bag was oh, was on sale for one dollar so that's good i got also a two pound bag of pinto beans i'm going to make beans probably this evening or this afternoon and um you can't make beans you guys without some bacon so i think i'm gonna do like maybe half i'm gonna play with it see how much but um i'll probably put half of the packet into my pot of beans and this you guys with the flour tortillas that we got Bean and cheese tacos, Evan can put away like, I am not joking, four bean and cheese tacos. So again, super great meal. This was only like, I think on sale a dollar fifty, something like that. So the bacon was the most expensive. Actually, the tortillas were expensive. But this, we have some cheese in the fridge. There's dinner, you guys. There's um, a quick lunch for Evan, for the boys. Christopher loves bean and cheese as well. Um, I wanted some jalapenos. I got the little jar. I don't know why I got the little jar. You should never get a little jar of anything when you have a family of seven. But uh, Ruben and I are the only ones who eat jalapenos. I mean, we, I eat them like candy. They're so good. So uh, anyways, I got this uh, costeña, the sliced jalapenos. Um, and then I figured after school snack, snack to take to school. The kids can put some of these in a Ziploc bag and take them to school. Same with these Cheez-Its. Um, Sophia wanted Cheez-Its. I was like, girlfriend, get the family size because that's just how we do it. Uh, but again, snack for the kids to take to school or after school snack. Sophia tried Chef Boyardee for the first time last week. And she loved it, you guys. So... I got one of these, it is, or actually I got three, but uh, they're super great, quick, convenient meals when, let's say we're making something for dinner or lunch that she does not wanna have, I will just open up, I'm gonna keep it real. I will open up one of these and that will be her meal. Evan liked it too, Evan liked it really too, but um, I think Sophia liked it more. So I also found these, I have never tried these and so I only got two small um, cans. They are charro beans and of course they are by HEB. So this is the spicy one and then this is just the regular one, but I am going to try these, see how I like them. And then I kinda wanna do like a little coffee, not a coffee, like a hot chocolate, um, bar for the kids uh, I have some clear containers so I got this um, chocolate milk and I'm going to dump it out and put it in that container so to go with the hot chocolate I got some miniature marshmallows and then the kids saw these holiday marshmallows and of course they were like mama please so we got these um, okay well first of all let's get this stuff over here this is my coffee I needed coffee uh, I had no coffee for two days 
and that is that just made me so sad so i got the of course cafe au lait's christmas in a cup super super great you guys this is a wonderful cup of coffee uh, or flavored coffee and then i got of course the pan dulce my ultimate favorite and then to go with it i am going to try to make this really really stretch um but i got the frosted come on there it is i got the frosted sugar cookie creamer you guys oh my goodness what well, my love i also got the uh h-e-b brand of chocolate chips cookies um i figured we could you know cut some off maybe after dinner and then just put it in the toaster oven for a quick treat um we needed a loaf of bread so we got the h-e-b um what is this the honey wheat bread I got these little pastas. These were on sale for 50 cents. And so, again, this is going to be a great um, either side for dinner. It's probably not enough for a side. Uh, so this will be good, I guess, for like after school or lunch for the little kids. Hi, my loves. Okay, Mama's going to continue with her haul, okay? Merry Christmas! Oh, thank you. All right, you guys, I'm going to continue with the haul. Um, I got ground beef, as you saw earlier. And so I got these. These were a dollar each. So we will have this for dinner one evening. Um, to go with the hash browns for breakfast, I got some cinnamon toast. Oh, I'm zooming in, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do that. But um, I got some cinnamon toast for breakfast. Uh, Ruben is not a big fan of me getting Pop-Tarts. But I got these. <laughs> They're the H-E-B brand. You got it's a quick snack. I don't eat them. The kids eat them. My teenagers love this stuff, you guys. And so I, I went ahead and I got this. Um, I also got these. These are really good. The kids, the older kids like these. They take these for lunch. Um, and when they get home from school, they'll have one as well. And then, well, it's Christmas. And so I, that has absolutely nothing to do with ice cream sandwiches, but... It's the holidays and so why not? Uh, but this was definitely our like really cheat treat, right? Our cheat treat, um, as was the marshmallows and the cookies and the cream. All creamer. right, you guys, that is gonna be it for my grocery haul today. Now I'm going to put all this lovely stuff away and we will see you guys in our next video. By the way, hello, I almost forgot to tell you guys, the total for everything was $157.36. Was it 36 cents? Let me check. 20 cents. So it was $157.20 to be exact. So, I mean, that was a lot of meat that I got. I think that's a lot of meat that I got. Um, and so that makes me proud. 157, almost 150. So um, anyways, that is our grocery haul for today. And I cannot wait to see you guys tomorrow in my next video. That'll be up tomorrow. Have a blessed day, everyone.